Hi uh, everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Okay, it's about 12.30. Um, after this reading, I gotta go throw turkey in the oven and then do the last reading for the November set. And then I got a house to clean and a Christmas tree to put up. And I have to go pick up Neon and her roommate because neither one of them drive. And they're gonna be coming over for Thanksgiving dinner with my family because I think of them both as very much a part of this family. They are here all the time. <laughs> I, I think between the two of them, they spend more time in my house, conscious and awake, than I do, because they both um, take turns babysitting my son, especially now since the domestic partner and I both work full time, and he is home for virtual learning. You know, they, they have been a huge help over the past, um, few days, weeks, months. I mean, they've just been a huge help and I'm eternally grateful for both of them. Just throwing that out there. But enough babbling. La 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 la. Oh, who we got left other than... Okay. Aquarius. You're up. So this reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given to you by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Just keep in mind, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings if you think it might want something that may resonate a little bit better. I encourage you that if it's just not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what does not belong to you. That's how fights and arguments get started. <laughs> Faith from Fireside Tarot said this. If it's not your message, it's not your message. Okay? Don't. Don't. Don't start a fight, please. Time and energy are both fluid, so this could have happened at any point during the month of November if it is indeed your message. To even have it happen in November could still play out. Could still. Could also play out vice versa. From the perspective of the cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here. I love cross watchers. They're great. I used to do it. Like, like. I shouldn't say religiously. What's another word for that? Habitually. I was a habitual cross watcher for Aries for quite a long time. <sighs> Anywho. Enough about me. I think the cards are done shuffled. Come on now. Aquarius, why are you here? Ooh, the death card. Cycle change. Endings and new beginnings. I like it. Got a little bit of a spiritual evolution going on here. Maybe something's coming to an end so new things can begin. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Ten of Cups reversed. They are not a happy person. Not bliss. Throw a clarifier on in a second. What do you think of them? Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Not one for celebrating. Possibly disconnecting from friends. Could be coming out of a third party situation. I don't have a second three on the table yet, so bear with it. What do you want from them? Six of swords reversed. Hmm.
Interesting, Aquarius. What do, what do you want him to return to? What do you want to return to? You're changing cycles here, so what's going on? How do they feel about you? Mmm, they're hermits. Yep. It all ties into that cycle change. You can see it was kind of a loner. Maybe they see that you're walking that spiritual path, trying to find the inner light, doing some introspection, what they think of you. Ten of Wands, ending burdensome cycles. It's all about cycle changes here. They see the evolution in you. They want from you. King of Wands reversed. Mm hmm. I don't know, Aquarius. I don't think they want you to, I don't think they want you to go through the spiritual change that you're going through. I think they want to kind of stop the truck a little bit. I think in a way you kind of want to stop the truck a little bit too, but in a different manner. Let's just lay these out, get a little bit of clarity. Source and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Aquarius, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November You are ready for change and evolution. You're ready to start something new. New passions. New paths. New journeys. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but you're ready to start anew. You're ready to start over. And they see it. They see it. You're coming to the, the end of a cycle and you're ready to start a new one. I don't think they want you to though. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here for how the other person, how Aquarius feels about the other person? of swords. The 
the sort of honesty, the sort of conversations. So you don't feel like they're happy, but you gotta remember the Ace of Swords restarts the, the sword cycle. And we know the 10 is the end of something painful. So you may feel like Aquarius that they're starting a new cycle of their own, or at least they want to, because they're just not a happy person. It may have been more beneficial if they just started out with a new cup cycle, but... No more. Seasons for all things. Oh, hi. <laughs> Flew out, like, pew, across the table. Queen of Swords reversed. They're not happy. They got a bad attitude. Mixing the Kool-Aid with salt instead of sugar. <laughs> Hmm, okay. That's not a happy person. Oh, something flipped. Five of swords, picking up pieces. Okay. Hmm. Why is the three of cups reversed different when Aquarius thinks of the other person? Hermit reversed. Disconnected from friends, self-isolating to an extreme. One more. Could have their head in the sand about something. Sun card. Well, how are you supposed to see and feel the sunshine if you get your face in the sand about something? You could understand that there's a deep connection with this person. That could be what the sun card means. Could be dealing with a Leo. One more. High Priestess. Temperance reversed. There's definitely a connection. You think there's a connection with this person, but there's a lot of negative energy, too. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here for what the Aquarius wants from the other person? Four of Wands, Eight of Cups reversed, two return cards. Return to stability. Return to a place of happiness and celebration. You want them to return You could want them to come back to the person that they were. Something happened. What happened? I'm going to leave that there. You know, I'm going to leave this alone. And I'm going to leave this alone. Because I don't need to clarify that. I need to clarify this. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? For what the other person wants from Aquarius. Karma reversed. 
Reversal of judgment. Whoa! Please don't go anywhere. Please don't move forward. Please change your mind. Aquarius, perhaps you want to return to a place of celebration and a place of stability. Perhaps you want to walk through an open door because when you finally make the decision that you're ready to change and you're ready to evolve and you're ready to end a burdensome cycle and start something new, you want to walk through an open door, people who are trying to play catch up often don't want you to shut that door because the death it's, it's like a door. I'm moving forward whether or not you like it and you can either choose to follow behind me or you can choose to keep your head in the sand and keep up with your negative crap <laughs> but I'm moving forward with or without you they, they don't want you to move forward what's the obstacle here Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so lack of a steady foundation. One on this Three of Pentacles reversed, please. Six of Swords. The obstacle is one of you is moving away from instability. One more. King of Cups. Why the King of Cups? Nine of Swords Reverse. The obstacle is one of you, I believe it's you Aquarius, is choosing to fill your own cup and, and love yourself. And to move away from the instability and to be able to rest. But I think you love the other person enough to want that for them too. You want them to be able to return to a place of stability. But that's a choice they have to make of their own accord. You can't do that for them. Possible resolution, Six of Cups. Oh, wow. That's deep. You guys have been playing the game together for a while. Why the Six of Cups? Three of Wands reversed, don't wait. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> It's that small seed. It's that small beginning. You can plant the seed. You can make the offer. 
because you have been playing the game together for a while and you do want the best for them and you do love them and you have happy memories together, don't wait a while for them. Don't do that. But plant the idea you can have stability. It's going to be a tough road, but you can have it. And it's going to be a long road. But you can't stay here with your head in the sand. you got to come with me to cross this cross the bridge of choppy waters to go back to a place where things were carefree and life was good and things were okay. I don't know what happened here. Something happened here. Because you don't just wake up one day and decide to be miserable. You don't. It's not usually how it works. Something has to happen. An event has to occur. I wasn't there. I didn't see it. I wasn't there for it. It wasn't my journey. But Aquarius, you've made the decision to end a burdensome cycle. And the person you're connected to is not wanting you to. They, they're, they're almost afraid of being left behind. Okay, so what's the outcome here? Losing connection. It happens. You can you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can lead somebody to the boat to cross that rapid river, but you can't make them get in. I'm not even going to clarify that either. I'm just going to. Go right to the advice, because i got to get a turkey in the oven. <laughs> Not just that, I, I think the cards have spoken for themselves today, guys. And again, I apologize for the, for the delayed message this month. It was just a crazy month. It's been a crazy month. Two swords upright, knight of swords reversed. Sometimes... You have to take the blindfold off and make that difficult decision. And it's one of those situations where no matter what you do, it's going to hurt. But maybe you just need to drop communication for a while. And let them decide what they're going to do. Because that's all you can do. The moon and the nine of wands. It may be hard to say how long it's going to take for things to illuminate for them and how long it's going to take for the other person to come out of the woods. But you need to push on because if you're going to end your, if you're going to end your burdensome cycle, if you're going to do this, you've got to give one last push for yourself. It, it, it's okay to be selfish in this instance because you can stand at the edge of the wood and say, hey, come on. They don't have to walk out of the woods. If they don't want to left behind, if they don't want to be left behind, they'll follow. But you can't force it. Don't do that to yourself, Aquarius. All right. Okay. I gotta go put a turkey in the oven because it's Thanksgiving Day and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. And thank God it's a small turkey. <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming by and hanging out. And I'll be honest, I needed the distraction today. Um, today's the fourth anniversary of my father's passing. So it's good to just, you know, throw the cards down and keep in touch with Source and remember good times and not sit here being a blubbering mess, crying all day and unable to do anything. <laughs> so, again, thank you so much, Aquarius. You guys are a huge blessing for us here at the channel. You guys are always so supportive. Alright, we'll catch you next time.
Mwah. Love you to bits. See you later.